together, we're going to look at all you need to know to be able to buy antiques with confidence. First, we're going to look at antiques in their period settings, and then we're going to see how you can recreate those settings in your own home. And more importantly, we're going to look at how to research antiques, what to buy, where to buy, the means of buying, and most important of all, how to avoid those pitfalls. We're going to look at antiques in their appropriate setting, and where better than the Geoffrey Museum in the City of London. It shows antiques in different room settings which, which relate to each different period. It runs from the 1500s right the way through to the present day. We're just going to look at a shorter period than that. We're going to look 1695 to about 1895, 200 year period. And the idea is that you should see what antiques look like in their settings and you can decide what you like. Do you like Regency or, oh, I think I'd rather have some Art Nouveau or maybe Carolean or Queen Anne. Whatever it is, whatever your taste is, once you've established that, then you've got a grounding to go out and start looking. And I shall be taking you through the details of what to look for in whatever period we choose. Woburn Abbey the home of the Dukes of Bedford for the last 300 years. It houses one of the finest collections of fine art in the country, including works by Van Dyck, Reynolds, Gainsborough, and of course, the world famous Canaletto Room. Also inside is representative furnishings and furniture by the great names of the 18th century, Chippendale, Hepplewhite, the designs of Robert Adam and Henry Holland are all here a modern house just 10 minutes away from Woburn Abbey. And I'm going to show you how we can recreate a period setting, or more importantly, a period atmosphere unique to yourself, inspired by the things we've just seen. Now let's see how many different ways there are to start buying antiques. £450, £480, £480, out. 480 has it then, at 480 I'm selling, you're out at £480. Well that was just knocked down to me for £480. We have to go to eBay, the largest internet auction house in the world. It started in 1995 and now sells over a million lots a day. Now it needs a little bit of help to get into it, and I'm going to try and show you the best way to go about it and how to buy with a bit of confidence. If you try and understand how eBay works, you do your research, you take a little time, and a little patience, it pays off. Say you've been to an auction or you've been to a sale, you've viewed it, or you've been to an antique shop, and you've seen something you like, but you're not sure about the price. The first thing to do is to go to absolutely everybody's Bible, which is Miller's Antiques Price Guide. Now the internet's another source of information for the antique collector. Using a search engine can reveal information about makers, periods, styles and dates. There's a lot of information to digest, but I hope this programme has demystified the world of antiques sufficiently to inspire you and encourage you to begin collecting.